Hi everyone, in this tutorial I want to show you how to use the new Blender Geometry Node Generator Node Pipes. I will demonstrate how everything works using the Pro version, which includes 10 different pipe generators. So after downloading the Blend file, you can place it in the folder where you store assets for the Blender Asset Browser. If you don't have one already, you can simply create a folder, maybe named Asset Browser, and then in Preferences, navigate to the File Path section, and under the Asset Browser, add the newly created folder. Save preferences and that's it, you are ready to go. Now let's open the asset browser here instead of the timeline. Here you will find both materials and pipe objects. You can switch between asset types here or simply use the built-in Blender filter at the top. To add a pipe to the scene, simply drag and drop it from the asset browser into the 3D view. So this is a simple basic pipe system. There are a total of 10 different pipes, each with specific settings and possibilities. To edit the geometry, you just need to enter edit mode, and as you can see, the actual geometry is quite simple, just some edges. You can move the vertices to change the shape and extrude to add more pipes. Notice that when extruding, the joint elements shrink. This occurs because in the parameters we have enabled Auto Create Joints option. This option automatically creates joints with a fixed length specified here. In consequence, if two points are very close together, the generator cannot create joints with a length greater than the distance between these two points. This is due how to automatic mode works. If you prefer full control over where joints start and end, you can achieve this by switching to manual mode by turning off the Auto Create Joints option. This mode enables you to have full control over where each joint starts and ends. Notice that you need to create a vertex where the joint starts and another one where it ends. Thanks to this, you can create joints with 3D specific shapes. After creating the desired shape for our pipes, we can begin customization. Under the Modifier tab, you will find a lot of settings, each slightly different for every generator. If you want to learn more about what each option does, simply hover over the parameter and an explanation note should appear. One common setting is Duplicate Pipes. This option allows to create parallel pipes duplicates and has several pipes controlled by a single system. You can randomize results using the option provided. The properties are divided into sections using this symbol in Blender 4.0 and in Blender 4.1, they utilize the new panel system. There are a lot of settings such as basic ones for thickness, number of steering wheels, joint radius and joint length. I won't cover every single one, but as you can see, we can simply play with the option and observe the immediate effect on the pipe. An interesting function is the ability to generate welds. For certain pipe system, you can activate this option to create welds. However, be aware that it may take few seconds to generate the results. Also, remember that this option can be quite time consuming and may even cause Blender to crash if the pipe system is too large. The last option for customization is the custom thickness attribute. For certain pipes, there is a vertex group named Custom Thickness under the Vertex Group section. This feature allows you to assign weights to create randomization in the thickness of the pipe. In Edit Mode, you simply need to select, for example, this edge and assign different weights to it, just like this. Lastly, there are materials. You can assign materials at the bottom for each generator preference. By default, they have powerful procedural materials that look like this. The basic idea behind this system is mixing between two materials with a mask. As you can see, it's pretty simple concept, but very powerful. You can customize each material to create unique results.
So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you like it. If you want to check out the node pipes, link in the description. If you want to support my channel, you can check out my other assets and add-ons, link also in the description. Thanks again for watching, see you again soon and bye!